Well, look what ended up in my mailbox. That's right, people. We're going from that to that. Oh, yes. I have to try and unbox this one-handed. So I've got three things. I've got a new switch, a new rack, and other, thing, other things over there. So, let's move this out of the way. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, there is some documentation here that I need to grab. Um, but we managed to get this all the way from the downstairs, which is like the third row. Before all the way up here. Excuse my drumming from Andrew. Okay, makes sense to me. Yep, I paid exactly. Here we go. High class communication, flighty blah blah blah. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. I believe you push these up. take this off you probably can't see it but there's two screws here you take those off and that means this can at the back here this can all stay locked oh wow she's beautiful all right let's do the moment of truth i'm just trying to find the best way how to take it off it's packaged beautifully the the glass door has survived there's no damage at all um i'm gonna take this off Oh, that is so satisfying. Those fans are big. I hope that doesn't trip the, the breakers in the house. And this is a brand new rack. I haven't bought this second hand. There's gotta be a way where they, ah, here we go. Clearly, obviously, um... All right, there's no other way to do it. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Now I can understand why they couldn't send it to a PO box. But wow, oh my God. Let me just quickly undo this and I'll be back. There we go, it's all unpackaged. As you can see, I've got the four fans. Ow, that just gave me a shock or something. Oh, this place is an absolute mess now. 
This is brilliant. Let's move it into position now. So it's gonna go right where it used to be. Oh, oh. So about there. Oh my God, this is God dead gorgeous. Right, so I'm gonna undo this now. So to, to undo a wrap, what you do, you push in like this, twist it. Oh my God. Isn't that, be oh, ah, careful, careful, yeah, God. There's not a wee bit of damage on this. So, there's plenty of keys, plenty of keys. Um, and you get a bag of accessories like bolts and nuts, which is brilliant because I need those for mounting our server. Oh, this is beautiful. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'll, you can't really see, but I'll, I'll turn my flash on in a minute. Actually, I'll do that right now. So as you guys can see here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, the switch up here. I'm just gonna go there. We're gonna put one of the servers there. Uh, my, my, I'll probably move these shells. I'm not sure how you do it. But, oh, they're screwed, okay. See, they're, they're screwed on the back. There's the power distribution unit at the back. And yeah, oh my god, this is beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just quickly get this out if I can with one hand. My, my brother decided not to help me film this, so I'm doing it on my own today. And then there's all the keys. Holy crap, there's a few keys. Oh, -hoo, it is absolutely beautiful. And as you can see here at the back, there's the power distribution unit. I'm not sure if my, uh, yeah, my flash is on. So as you guys can see here, this is the power distribution unit. Watch this. Plugged in the fans. They're so goddamn noisy. But at least on a positive note, when it's summer, well, I can keep these running now because they're not that bad. And this is what I was saying before earlier, I can remove this and keep this back panel locked and have this um, kept these cables coming in. That way it's all locked and secure. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna focus our attention to this. This is one of my network switches that I ordered. I got it for a nice discount, 70 bucks. This is a 16 port gigabit TP-Link switch. So I'm just gonna get it out the parcel. And here it is. So this is the TP-Link 16-port uh, gigabit rack mount switch. It's the TLSG10160. I just found the switch online. It was the cheapest. And the best thing about it is it's um, rack mountable. As you can see, this is just some of the options here. So it's really, really good. Sorry the focusing is horrible on this camera. So I'm going to get this out. In fact, we might do this if I can do it with one hand. That'd be great. So I'm going to try and do this. I don't have my other cameras with me at the moment. I need my scissors, which I had somewhere, which clearly gone missing now. Oh no, they're here. And I'm gonna try and unbox this if I can. Uh, I need somewhere to put this because I can't hold it and unbox at the same time. So I might have to actually unbox it. Um, I'll do this. So I'll take the covering off and then we'll open up the box. Do you know what is so satisfying, right? Doing this. Oh, it didn't work. There we go. So I unbox it. It's so satisfying by doing that. Oh, I hope you guys didn't see that. Right. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, this is all of the information here. So it's a desktop switch, blah, blah, blah. Does 1,000 megabits. All right, so here we go. Let's open it. I've never seen this. Oh my God, that is God dead George. Oh wow. I've never had so much fun in my life. So here it is. It smells too. It's got that really, really nice, you know, new smell. So in here, I'd assume is the accessories, including, I'm gonna need one of those. And perfect. The, the rack for, mounts for it. And then let's get the switch out. Oh, look at that. Yes, that is so nice. Right, that box can go away. And now, here comes the switch. So what we're gonna do, this is going in the rack, somewhere along here. Hopefully I've got enough clearance because I'm gonna need at least probably one, uh, two RU. So about two RU, so that's, these are each one, uh, I think these are each uh, one U. Uh, each, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wall mount that probably about there so I've got enough clearance because eventually I'm going to get a brush plate because I'm rooting a lot of cable from the back here and I want it to come in and then the service probably going to go about here then my other one's going to go down there. Whew, my god this is going to be so much fun once it's finished. Now apologies for not recording as much as I thought I would have recorded um, but my phone actually died like literally 
it won't turn on anymore. So I actually had to switch over to the iPhone, aka my new phone. And so hopefully that sounds pretty better. So without further ado, here's the final product. We'll go over everything later on, but I've still got to do a bit of cable management. I've still got to get these servers all finished and well, going. Um, and yeah, hey, on, let me try something here. And there you guys go. So this is me on the iPhone uh, 7 and uh, it's good. But yeah, so here's the rack. I'm gonna plug the keys in. Of course, people are in the background. There you go, slide it across, and there we go. So, what have we got in here in this rack? So this is my TP-Link uh, gigabit switch, as you guys are aware of, we unbox that. Ah. Um, this is my uh, this one here is a HP Thin Client. This is actually running Observium on it. And then this is what's doing all my network monitoring and traffic. This is my Optiplex, which runs Zen Server. This is my main server, which you guys have seen tons and tons of videos in. This is the backup server here. And then finally, this is Rockwood 2. So I have multiple servers. So essentially, the switch does all the routing and does the gigabit links. Um, and so it's very, very useful for that. Oh, and Andrew's about to start dropping. Um, the HP Thin Client is running Observium on it. It's literally got like 128 gigabytes of RAM in it. Uh, 128 gigabytes, 120 megabytes of RAM. Um, and the Obser Observium lives on a USB stick, so if this was to fail, I can just grab it and transfer it across. This is my Zen server, again. This one is just hosting all my MDT images on it, so if I need to refer back to a base image or something like that, it all lives on this server. So that's what this one's used for. Rockwood 2, uh, sorry, Rockwood 1, which is the IBM X3650 Model 3, um, is my main bulky server here. This one has got 22 cores in, 200 gigabytes of RAM, and it's actually a very powerful server, and there's Andrew in the background playing drums, which is very, very helpful and distracting. Um, down here is the backup server. Uh, this is another Optiplex, which I've sort of modified because uh, the power connector here doesn't actually work, so I have to plug it in there. And then finally, Rockwood 2, which is my HP DLG6. Very hard to hear by here, I know. Um, this is what runs my uh, vCenter on it. It runs the ESXi manager host and things like that. And it also runs my new uh, remote app server on it with server 2016 on it. So around the back, I'll just close the rack. And I'm just gonna close the door because uh, it's noisy. So yeah, around the back, so this is an 18RU server cabinet again. Uh, I forgot to mention, this here is the main connection. So this, uh, not, this is just the main connector. Uh, this is uh, Ethernet, so this is actually Cat6A. So all cables in the rack here are Cat6. Um, I've got the, uh, te the smart plug, which turns on the fans, which are down here. And then this one connects to the router, which uh, Wi-Fi router slash extender access point. So I've got a access point, which is a router, which essentially has just got DHCP disabled on it. Um, and then that just runs an access point. So if I've got access to the internet, I've got the side panels here as well. And then at the back, there's a ton of cabling, which I'll show you more in depth once I've actually finished the cable management, which a video will be coming out. And as well as a video on how I've set up my iPhone 6 and et cetera and things like that. So apologies again for not filming as much as I thought I was, um, but my phone just died and I couldn't get anything else. So thanks anyway guys for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, do subscribe and share a comment in the comment section below. It really does help improve my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.